this kick can decide it all. The nation holds its breath. Yes, for the Welcome back to the Irish football players list. Um, and today we're going to be talking about a young player called Zach Gilson. And uh, you might remember Zach as the famous Irish Messi. Uh, he rose to fame when he joined the Barca Academy and became an overnight celebrity going viral in Ireland at the time. Um, although that's not the beginning or the end of the then eight year old, now 19 year old story. Uh, and it wasn't his 15 minutes of fame. His uh, history is he's born to Irish parents in Australia. Uh, his parents emigrated there. And he began playing for local team um, Caramara Cougars, then Sorrento. And in 2011, he went to Perth Glory, all at youth level. Um, his whole career basically is at youth level at the moment. But again, he is only 19. Uh, it was at Perth Glory um, that he attended a training camp and then trial for Tottenham Hotspurs, which in itself is a great achievement for any player, um, a young player. Um, but this in turn actually led to him being scouted for uh, the massive Barcelona, who signed him up to their academy in 2012, where he remained for two years. Now, whether or not he would have stayed there longer, who knows, but... The reason he left Barcelona wasn't because um, he wasn't good enough. You know, again, what the future at Barcelona would have held from, who knows. But he found himself having to move from Barcelona as a result of Neymar, actually. It was Neymar, if you remember at the time, um, he moved uh, to Barcelona. And that move created implications and sanctions uh, which affected uh, foreign academy players at the club. And while he was at Barcelona, he became known as the Irish Messi again. This led to a clamour in Ireland for photo shoots, updates, interviews, advertising, sponsorship, and uh, marketing ops for the young star, which no doubt would have been distracting. Uh, when he left Barcelona, he shortly thereafter signed for the Liverpool Academy um, from 2014 until 2019. Nothing media-wise really was reported on him since uh, the Barca period. But I'd imagine this was by design of his family who may have felt it was better to let the hype die down and have him focus on his craft at such a crucial young age junction in his career uh, he didn't wouldn't want you know at that stage you wouldn't want there's lots of distractions for footballers but at that stage you're getting a bit of fame you haven't made any money yet and uh, then you get distracted and you know a lot of young players don't make it anyway so it's very important to stay focused not get uh, distracted by shiny objects bit of media attention in the end of the day isn't going to make you any money or get you big moves anywhere so uh, in 2019 he signed for Blackburn not too sure why he left Liverpool whether or not it was Liverpool's decision to let him go or it was a conscious decision by his family um, and himself to have him based somewhere where there would be a better pathway to the first team first team football uh, like no offence to Liverpool, Man City, clubs like that. It's harder for a youth player to make it there because they want instant uh, big money signings, big names, international names, players that are tried and tested that they don't want. They don't really bring through a lot of uh, youngsters uh, that, you know, they would have in the past. So it's you go to a big team like that, you're going to have limited opportunities to break into a first team and you might end up doing yourself damage after a certain point of view that you're just sitting away rotting away in the youth ranks and then when you might even get to sign a contract but 
you never actually make the first team football and then at the age of 22, 23 you're left really nowhere so yeah that would prove that would in my opinion be again whether it was by design or because of Liverpool um, I don't know but a good move for him anyway um, he moved through the ranks playing very well for Rovers scoring frequently playing key roles and victories at youth level in May 21 he signed his first professional contract at Blackburn penning a two year deal uh, he hasn't made the first team bench yet but wasn't far off you'd imagine last season but unfortunately suffered an ACL injury ruling him out for the remainder of the season and at that stage in a young player's career sometimes they don't make it back from it but uh, you know it must have been a crushing blow at such an important time in a young man young player's uh, development and career uh, he's since come back and is again playing regularly for the Rovers under 21s unless he signed a new contract which I don't know maybe he has it's just not being publicised uh, if he hasn't he'll be out of contract in this summer summer 23 which would show again if he doesn't sign it'll show if Rovers really value him and see him breaking into their first team um, and have plans to play him or if not he can move himself to find first team football elsewhere if that's what he chooses to do but again it doesn't really although for a young player that would be a blow it might be a bad thing for his career like although it would seem it's a touch and go point in his career he would be able to decide his future himself as opposed to being left in the reserves for a longer period uh, who knows what he actually thinks about it or if he will decide um, but no doubt he, his team and his family will make the right decision for him best decision for him and his career and take him to the next step level in an already exciting career from an Irish point of view he has options and it's not just on paper I'd imagine there's serious options in his mind he has Irish parents of course he's Irish blood but he was born in Australia he grew up there so I'm sure he has a close attachment to Australia as well um, obviously his parents I'm sure would like him to play for Ireland but you know they're gonna let him decide where he wants to play he has uh, play, represented Ireland and Australia most recently Ireland at under 19's level just before he got injured so either way it's going to be a tough decision for him but let's hope he chooses Ireland and he breaks into the Rovers first team at some stage uh, this season and if not he moves somewhere else and starts in their first team and you know in the next couple of years we'll have a very very exciting uh, 21 year old thanks for listening